Good day to all my fellow tribesmen, my tribal people, my friends, my relatives, my siblings, my children. It's already getting close to spring. It's getting warmer outdoors, even though uh, it's still winter. We're still in the winter season. But spring is coming. I'd like to go through the calendar, the words on the calendar, and uh, then we'll go through the list of some of the words we've had since we started doing this on this channel. Sincina. Sincina. That's the calendar. The month is, at the present time, is Kusih Spkanis. Kusih Spkanis. That means the month of the geese. It is believed that around this time is when the geese come back from wherever they've been for the winter. Kusih Spkanis. The days of the week are Strate, Strwe, Tiuchlasela, Or Etlasela, Chatla, Tiuchmo, Or Etmo, Tsilchsta, I'll go through those again. Sincina Kosih Spanis Strate Strwe Tiuchlasala or Etlasala Chatla Tiuchmo or Etmo Tsilchsta Stle. Now, the months that we've had, I don't have a, their words up here, but we just will practice saying them. I believe we started in September. So, September was. That's the choke cherry month. October was Schlip Spanis. Schlip Spanis. That's the hunting month. November was storytelling time or Coyote story telling time. Squadlu Spanis. Squadlu Spanis. December was the trapping month. Esa to me. Esa to me. Spanis. Esa to me. Spanis. January was the um to Spanis the time of greeting your people with a handshake and wishing them well. 
Stinchtuspqnis. It's also been known as Stapske Spqnis, the time of shooting your gun in celebration of the new year. Then February was Chkoskin Spqnis. Chkoskin Spqnis. Chkoskin is curly hair. A long time ago, the winters were cold enough to curl your hair. The, that was a time of deep winter, really cold. Chkoskin Spqnis. This present month again is Kosih Spqnis. That's March. The time when the geese return from wherever they've been for the winter. And yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Yet Hua Ud Lesla Sudla Yet Hua Ud Lesla Sudla. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Nechali Amal Chatla Nechali. And some of the winter words we had were smekot, smekot, that was the snow. That all happened in the winter time, seistch, seistch. Then the snow falling, or the snowfall. Mm hope. Mm hope. It's snowing. Esam khpami. Esam khpami. It's cold out. It's art. It's art. It's frozen. Sult. Sult. The ice. Schuimtku. Schuimtku. It's blizzarding. Es kotlmentsu. It's windy. Es neuti. Es neuti. Well, we'll take a little break right now. Then we'll go on with animals after that. In the past, People were raised with respect for each other and the role of sex in the Indian society. Today, the consequences of sexual behavior can be serious. They can even kill you. Please know the facts. Be safe. The family is everything. HIV AIDS is preventable. This is real life, and it has real consequences. Well, here we are again. I will go through some of the animals that we've done so far. Um, all the animals, the wildlife is called Hui Hui Yul. Hui Hui Yul. That doesn't include the birds. The birds are called Hui Hui Yul, which means the smaller animals. 
Here's some of the uh, animals are chitlehu. Chitlehu. This is one of the animals that was trapped by the people for the fur. They're small animals, but they had some use. Chitlehu. Ooh. Ooh, the white tail doe. Ooh. Hilt. Hilt. The pack rat. These are some of the important ones that were trapped, the ermine and the weasel. The ermine, which is white in the wintertime, is called hipa. hipa. The weasel, all the hipa, then turns brown in the spring. The summertime, it's fully brown. And then it's called Hchim. Hchim. We had Hchimene. Hchimene. He was in the story uh, of the medicine tree. Mhuya. Mhuya. That's one of the animals that was trapped in the wintertime for their fur. The raccoon. Mhuya. Entaten. Entaten. That was one of the furs that was trapped. Uh, he's called Entaten because it describe, it's describing his voice when he um, gives voice. It's high pitched a lot of the time. Entaten. Then we have Pue. Pue. The mule deer buck. Pue. Pue. Chipmunk. And of course, there's Sinchitle. Sinchitle. The main character in the coyote stories. Sinchitle. The bobcat is not called Sinkatsu, it's Beechum. Beechum. Sinkatsu is the lynx. Sinkatsu, the lynx. Si Hui Ho. Si Hui Ho. It's 
towards the badger. Skutisumia, the mountain lion, wasn't trapped. People didn't kill this animal for food. He was pretty much left alone because he was more uh, of an animal that was regarded for uh, in the spiritual times. Skutisumia. A rabbit is called Skwakutse. Skwakutse. And the small rabbits are called Skwakutse. Skwakutse. We have the cow elk, who is called Sne. Sne. And this is a general word for elk. If you see a herd of elk and you don't know if there are any uh, bulls in there, then you just say sne for the whole group. The beaver is one of the highly prized um, trapped animals. He's called skaleu. Skaleu. And the antelope, stan. Stan. I believe the people use this animal for food when they went across the mountains on their buffalo hunts because they're they're not here originally. Stulze the mule deer doe Stulze Then if you see a herd of them, then you would call them this whole herd Stulze. Even if there was bucks in the in there. Now the mule is called Stulze also. And it isn't an animal that is is here naturally. It was brought here. And it had the long ears, and that's why it's called Stulze after the um, mule deer or the black-tailed deer. Schasilx is the moose. Schasilx. There are some around, but they're not seen very often. Swatle is the white tailed buck. Swatle. Now, if you see a herd of white tails uh, and you don't know if there is a buck in the bunch, maybe their antlers fell off or whatever, then you would call them Tsuulihu. Tshet is the bull elk. Tshet. Tshet. And of course, there's Hua Hua from the coyote stories, Sinchele's brother, who always had to help him get out of his uh, troubles. 
He's the one who jumped over Cinchile's bones or fur or whatever to bring Cinchile back to life. I believe those are all the animals we had so far. We'll have another time when we go through more of the, the rest of the animals and then the birds too. And so right now I'd like to um, do the colors. A grandparent asked for colors so she could practice them with her little great-granddaughter. So I thought maybe it would be a good thing to do the colors uh, here on this channel so the little ones can practice. The color red is called quill. Quill. The color black is quai. Quai. There's another word that's similar to this, and we'll get to it in a little bit. Quill and why. And here it is right here. It's why. It's softer. Why. That's blue. Why. The color orange is oom. Boom. Green is coin. Coin. Some people have started writing it with an I instead of the EY but I would prefer to use the EY because that's what it sounds like. Quain. Quadly, you can barely see here how it's written. Quadly is yellow. Quadly. There's one more, it's white, peak, peak. Peak. Some kids, when they see it written like that, uh, think it's, it's uh, said pig but it isn't, it's a Q instead of a G. Peak. So we'll go through these colors again. Peak. Quain. Quain. Quadli. Quadli. Why? Why? Boom. Boom. Quill. Quill. Why? Why? Okay, let's go through these colors again real quick like. Queen. Why? Why? Boom. 
Khoain Khwali Pik Pik Lem Lem Chpesia, that's all for our show today. We hope to see you again next week. Chast Chalchalt.